I'm Tony Takura from Nieuwenhuizen. For the VVD, she's a member of the European Parliament and she is the reporter of the fintech industry. She made a report and she's tonight she's going to talk to the Parliament about what's going on. It will be on our site. I will include the, site. I will include the link. But Cora, what are the main conclusions after being a reporter for the European Parliament of fintech industry? The main conclusion is that we have to look for, uh, into the future. Uh, a lot of uh, new technologies are uh, coming together. Uh, a lot of uh, investment uh, is made there. And we should make sure that we uh, get our part of the pie. Uh, so uh, in Parliament, we really need to, uh, to look forward and make sure that we are not hampering uh, innovation, but stimulating it. Yeah, so you're not looking to the past, but you're looking to the future, to the big data and the, and the artificial intelligence. And the blockchain, of course. What yeah. are your recommendations which are uh, in your report? Well, the top priority is cybersecurity. Uh, that's no surprise uh, if you see what's happening uh, the last... Uh, very week. timely, very uh, timely, Cora. <laughs> uh, yes, it was already in the report a month ago, but uh, yeah. I really think that we do more uh, on cybersecurity. We need more uh, room for experiments uh, as well, and we need more tech-savvy people in uh, um, supervisory uh, bodies and uh, in the regulators uh, everywhere. Okay, that would be amazing. Just a few of the recommendations. Yeah, because we have the National Blockchain Alliance and they say for governance it's really important that not only people can uh, make uh, contracts but also like assets can make contracts. You know, it really needs to be working much more with online uh, online stuff. So that's really timely. We're going to talk about that at the conference uh, on uh, June the 22nd, where you will be there and people can ask questions. And will and then the last question, will your recommendations, will they be accepted by the parliament? And when is that happening? Well, you can never be 100% sure, but uh, there was a big majority in the committee vote already. So hopefully uh, tomorrow uh, at noon, uh, my reports uh, will be uh, voted with a with a very big majority yeah and and you have started it you wanted to look forward and you really came up with that subject to to and you basically suggested that to the parliament how does that work how do you <laughs> how do you become a reporter for the european parliament oh you, you have to talk uh, about it all the time and uh, the big thing is to convince the big parties uh, because it's well, uh, it's it's only uh, there's only a room for for two or three um, initiative reports uh, per year, and even one report uh, being a member of the smaller group, mm -hmm. we're part of the liberal group, and that's only the fourth group uh, in Parliament. So I had to convince quite a lot of people, but uh, I think it's it's worth it. So it's a great moment for you tonight. Yes, I think so. The, the Vice President uh, Dombrovskis uh, mm -hmm. will be present uh, at the debate and that's also a good sign that he uh, is also personally really uh, interested in, uh, in FinTech. Okay, we're going to watch it tonight. You can basically watch it at the uh, European Parliament uh, website. I'm going to include it on the YouTube and uh, good luck and we'll see you at the 22nd. Thank you, I'm looking forward to that.